Welcome back to the opening day of the J-Bay Open. We're in round one, heat number six, and it features the man wearing the Jeep yellow jersey. Matt Wilkinson has been world number one all season long due to the best start ever for Wilco in his career with back-to-back -back wins from the Gold Coast into Bells Beach. And he hasn't moved off that top spot on the Jeep leaderboard. He takes on rookie David Capels from North Narrabeen and local boy Steven Sawyer taking out the trials to get a spot into the main event. Whoa. Changes his mind last minute, and that's going to roll down the point to Davy Capels. Davy up now, he'll get the first wave. Nice stretched out wall, draws it under the lip. He's going to have to pull in. He's super deep. Capels pops out the other end. A bonus section for Davy. He's going to fight his way for the completion, not pulling off the miracle on the second section. Valiant effort. That is for sure, valiant effort, giving it everything. And he, I wrote him off. All of a sudden, he comes out kind of out of the hole, too. It was a low road, but he got out of it. Uh, it's too bad that that wave didn't give him much more opportunity after that, but what a gift, considering that uh, Wilco was out the back with uh, an opportunity and let it go. But uh, probably Wilco looking at it going, wow, this wave is going to shut down. But somehow, Davey gets uh, himself through that one, but can't happen for a miracle second time, unfortunately. Uh, you know, and at this point, I think he's been solely focusing on the CT and hasn't quite had the results. If you watch now, up and riding, Matt Wilkinson. Matt Wilkinson deep on the point to start. Starting to wind up that radical backhand attack. Jams it beautifully off the lip, under the lip, hook. A huge section comes down on the heels of Wilco. He's going to cut that ride short. He's got a little taste of that spontaneity, that unpredictable factor. The early Aki comparisons to Matt Wilkinson, still world number one in this contest. I mean, how is the transition that he was able to make so smooth? I mean, he was in a very vertical face, and you thought for sure that nose was going to grab, but somehow it just stayed glued to his feet. You know, this wave here starts off a little slow, gets the snaps, but here it starts to build up. And this snap is solid, but then this one here where he is in a nice vertical face. Somehow you think the nose is going to poke down, but he doesn't. And he keeps the speed. Too bad that wave shut down, or else we would have seen a big score from Matt Wilkinson. Matt Wilkinson living the dream at the moment. Are you sure? <laughs> but, yeah, now it's, I don't know, I feel like I, I belong here, and I feel like I can stay here. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep working hard and keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully the same results keep coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, enjoy home, you know, like my house. Uh, it's good to be there and uh, yeah, uh, it's good. <laughs> and you say the board rides well, but it also looks so good. Tell us a little bit about the artwork on your surfboard. Uh, yeah, this is a 6.0 journey made for me in Spain. Uh, and yeah, I got a new painting. Uh, it's a zebra here. Uh, yeah, it's a sick board. Uh, looks pretty good, and uh, hopefully I can keep it making some hits. Great surfing, well done. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie Hodge. Gabriel Medina, happy with that performance. Into the nines, back up into the eights. One of the best combined totals of the day so far with beautiful artwork on his surfboard. It's a lot of great opportunities around here, Pete. Kind of a stark contrast to uh, the other Brazilian who had won his heat earlier, Adriano de Souza, who had been chasing down. Get back to that right after this wave. Davy Capels, the rookie, started off in the barrel with a 5.83. Now looking to back it up at the 20 minute mark. Forehand wrap, pushing that board down the line. Capels with a layback jam. Nice, stylish finish. Great maneuver choice. Right behind him, world number one, Wilco, packing this one nice and deep. He ends up going down. Next wave now setting up for the local boy. You can hear the crowd absolutely getting behind Steven Sawyer. Pulls in super deep on his backhand and Sawyer ends up going down. And now Sawyer getting to get that feeling for the first time in his life. Well, let's take a look at the replay here. Look at this, straight into the barrel. And that's what you heard the cheers about as he exits the barrel here, but this wave Again, runs off through the super tube section. And no exit for Sawyer, so just going to be that first barrel. And then Davy Cathels down the point a bit, gets the snap and goes into some froth. Another arc here as this wave 
Loads up down through the inside. Not a huge set wave, but he was able to fit his moves in and complete the ride. And so that'll go into his top two. Doesn't need much to take the lead, and then Wilco. And this looked like a, an excellent wave here, but then again, it just picked up so much speed. This is where I was like, oh, this wave's gonna go. And it lit, hit, hit, moved really quickly, and Wilco wasn't able to keep up with it and just pulls into the closeout. But touching on the Brazilians, just to finish up that story real quick, you know, Adriano stayed on at Fiji, was able to get more experience there at Tavarua, and then straight to here, where in contrast, Gabriel stayed at home. Vertical whip off the top for Wilco. Another carve through the inside corner. Straight up vertical as he shuts that one down in classic Wilco fashion. Looking for a 6 8 3 More from the local boy, Steven Sawyer. He's up and out. Cathal's on his last. A 5 5 took the lead. 5 8 3 star for the rookie. Wilco, Cathal's really good friends. Now going blow for blow to try to get a spot into round three. And Steven Sawyer getting the crowd on their feet. Looking at the numbers though, Sawyer 3.33 so far. Let's see what Wilco did here. Yeah, again, look at that nice vertical approach there. Connected with the lip, then the carve, so showing some variety. And then the finish move, upside down. That was the type of surfing that gave him the win over Kelly Slater. And that third place here at J-Bay was that upside down approach. You can see he gets the board above his head. Nice vertical first move. And then here, out on the face, the round arc. So again, showing variety, combination of major moves, and then straight back to the bottom and hits this closeout moves vertical. Then look at tail above his head. And that is so difficult to do. And pulled it off nice and clean. You know, it wasn't a long wave, but the surfing executed was solid. Solid performance from Matty Wilkinson as we'll take another angle from the lineup here, Pete. Yeah, it's from the water. And uh, d diminishes the size slightly, but does not diminish the surfing that he's doing. As watch this final move here, upside down, connecting with the lip. So difficult to do to come out with speed and ride out of it. We have a lot of sections to this point. We're right here at Super Tubes, and the judges are calling for the replay. Interesting. You know, I think that they're seeing, you know, because it wasn't a long wave, but the surfing that was done was so solid, they kind of need to compare it to what's happened so far. I mean, if you look at Cathal's had the, the barrel. We got some live action, though. Sawyer, always smooth and stylish. Running down the line, and he opts to kick out. 5-8-3 for Matt Wilkinson. Matching Cathal's start of a 5-8-3. Wilco stays second, still needs a 5-5 to come back. And Sawyer still chasing down the 8.0. Cathal's with priority and the lead, 14.40 remaining. You can see Davey in that blue jersey, sitting the deepest up the point. In his first start ever here at the J-Bay Open, he'll glide in. Chasing down some board speed and he'll pull in nice and deep. Looking like he finds another way to make it out of a tough section. Every time you think that thing's going to shut down on Cathals, he finds a way to get the completion. Just centered over his board. Uh, opportunity now to Sawyer for priority. Sawyer's got to do something pretty big here. He's got to get something moving We're down to 13 and a half minutes. Let's check Take out a look the at, at this one here as he drops in, pumps down the line. He sees it's going to have a barreling section. Again, he moves all of his weight forward and again escapes. He kind of lifted up and out of it. The wave was able to push him out, looking at offshore and peeling four or five footers and we're excited about it. Well, at the moment, we have our high scores at 5 8 threes. There's a couple of different ways to get there. Let's look at Davey's version. Yeah, Davey, again, the barrel. I mean, that was a, a difficult wave to make. Somehow, you know, anytime you can get a, a whoa and a wow, you're going to see his scores. I mean, that was a, a huge opportunity. If you'd been able to get through that last section and then finish up that ride, we would have seen into the excellent. I mean, but again, just this combination of major maneuvers here, variety. This was a, a three-turn combo from Matt Wilkinson. And, uh, you know, again, contrasting in the way that the 5.83s got there. But ultimately, I feel like the judges did a good job comparing those two, and they're a very similar type of scores.
Well, your, your specialty, you know, is, is surfing this wave and, and understanding which are the quality waves, what are the high quality waves, and how to surf these waves, especially in windy conditions like this. Sawyer slips off on the takeoff with wow. 8.22 to go here and loses priority. Yeah, that was an error. You know, the likes of uh, Mark Richards making his own equipment, Simon Anderson. Watching Wilco deep on the point, but he'll get clipped and he's down. Situation remains the same with numbers, but now priority back to Davy Capels, the rookie, trying to send Wilco and Sawyer into round two, which would be huge for Davy. Watching Sawyer, nice lively backhand float, squares up nice and vertical. A quick one right under the lip to get the crowd on their feet. Sawyer needs an 8.0 to take the lead. After a couple of falls, that probably just felt good to get his feet back in the wax and belt some. So waiting for that number to lock in for Steven Sawyer. 4.10 and a 3.33. Now Sawyer needs a 7.23 to take the lead. As we check out the heat recap from round one, heat number six. This one's always highlighted by world number one, Matt Wilkinson. Wilco and Sawyer were battling for position up the point. That gave Davey this gift. Pulled off a miracle making that section and start off his heat in the lead. He sure did, and uh, he hasn't looked back at this point. You know, that has been opportunities for Wilco to get that lead, but has yet to find it. Capitals has been able to manufacture, you know, it's not a gigantic two-wave total. Matter of fact, it's kind of a low for this round, but right now it's got him out front, and uh, he's sitting with priority with two minutes to go, and that is the power position. As you watch, surfing done by Wilco has been solid. It just hasn't had those waves. I think small errors in, in his wave choice has um, kind of limited himself, and uh, that's why he sits in second, has second priority, so he's going to have to have a bit of a miracle here at the end. Steven Sawyer winning the trials, local boy from Jeffries Bay. Getting a couple backside vertical snaps in on a smaller wave, and he's got a kick out of there. Time, knowing that he didn't need a huge score here. The clock is going to tick out with uh, no opportunity for Wilco, so he's going to have to battle. You can see a little splash of the water there. Tough road. Um, congratulatory from Davey, but ultimately, Wilco. Feeling, uh, feeling a bit of pressure there. We remember Wilco, who had a great result in Brazil. He got sent to round two, was knocked out by wildcard David Silva. He's done well at Jay Bay in the past, and now he's dealing with round two, and it's probably going to be against wildcard Steven Sawyer as this one continues. Caffles taking a huge win to move into round three, representing the rookie class on tour.